Hey everyone, Zeus here. I hope you're all doing wonderful today. I hope you're all doing great. On today's video, we're going to talk about the beginning of the end for physical media. How it got started and also how hard drive storage space plays a big part on this. As always, please like, subscribe. If you guys can help me reach that 100 subscribers, I really appreciate that. Thank you guys. And I've been holding back on this video for a while now. I did make a video a, a few months ago about physical media and you guys can check that out on the on the description down below but it's been happening and I've seen this in the past few years now where stores and publishers and video game developers keep pushing digital media instead of uh, physical media I believe it all started back when Steam when they launched their digital distribution store for us to download games and this started back in 2003 and I knew that consoles would eventually follow this this trend but it started with pretty much with Steam at that time in the early 2000s I didn't think obviously that the consoles will follow the digital distribution of video games but I knew they will follow eventually back in 2003 it was a different market uh, P PCs uh, were way more advanced than than consoles and we could install just about any game in there and we can just run games directly from the hard drive instead of spinning on on a disc which is uh, which is slower so just check out these stores as soon as I saw this a couple of years ago when I noticed that stores kept pushing all these you know little cards little digital cards that you you scratch and then you put the code and you download the game and you know and look at those prices they're still the same as if you were to get a physical a physical game so I don't know if you guys know this but in the past few years digital games have outsold physical media and when it comes to the market the, these uh, these companies video game companies you know they they take a look at these numbers and uh, these giant companies only they only care about the bottom line how much can they cut so they can make more profit so then they start cutting spending on all these other things that you don't need on, on digital such as uh, printing and uh, discs and plastics and that's just to name a few they still charge the same as a physical media so now I have a theory and I believe it's gonna come true and you know you can agree or disagree with me but I've been around video games all my life and I've seen all the trends just about all the trends I've seen all the changes in video games I've been through so many different generations of games and here's my theory okay there's no reason let me start with this first let me start with this there's no reason why current gen consoles should have very little hard drive space considering that games nowadays they can take 50 80 100 gigs of space what's gonna happen is that after this generation all right now bear with me for a second here um, so what they do is they force you to upgrade all these hard drives external hard drives and they tell you oh you wanna you want more space buy an external hard drive and this and that and they basically create a problem that shouldn't be there right and the reality is that storage should be something that we should not deal with as a problem in today's in today's market so space is very affordable but see they they create this problem on purpose and the reason is so that next-gen consoles their propaganda their message for us the gamers will be oh you know what now you don't have to deal with hard drive space anymore because now next-gen consoles have massive hard drive storage and that's gonna be their message that's gonna be their propaganda that's gonna be their their marketing campaign massive hard drive storage you know massive hard drive storage that will have gamers say oh wow now I don't have to deal with all the storage problems that I had in the past now my my ps6 or xbox x x1 x x x x x whatever it is it, you know it has 20 terabytes 
And guess what's going to happen is goodbye physical media. But keep in mind that it's not a big surprise, really. I mean, we've been seeing this coming at us for for years now. And and you know what? The other thing is that, well, where, where does that leave us, right? So, okay, now physical media is gone. So where do we stand? Where does the retro gaming or just video game collector stand in this in this matter and like all markets it adjusts everything adjusts and once we remove physical media completely eventually there's going to be companies that are going to be able to have license to make physical media for our for our niche which is I don't, I don't even think it's a niche like i don't see us the video game collectors as a niche we are a big crowd we're not a niche just about everybody has some sort of collection whether it's two three games five games or two thousand games you have a collection right so in reality it's not a niche and we are a very large community so what's going to happen is we're going to have more companies like limited run for instance that they they publish games and they release physical medias and as video game collectors we're going to ask for these physical games or physical media and someone needs to provide that void that's what's going to happen basically and you know what we'll most likely pay premium for those physical gains because then it'll be something that's not common which kind of sucks all right now we move to the other side of this which is the fake or pirated games will increase dramatically because of this demand by collectors and it could be so then we're gonna have all these fake games out there replicas of uh, original games flooding the market and people are just gonna buy them because they enjoy physical media they want something tangible don't be surprised that in 20 or 30 years from now you'll have someone tell you hey come see my collection and their collection is nothing but replicas of the original and that's pretty much where we're heading guys so now digital has its pros right there's pros and digital is very convenient right Digital digital game dis distributors have big library of classic games. This is a very good option for many people because not all of us are going to start a physical collection. This is something that really gets to me as a collector because it's just, uh, I find it very sad. So there's always going to be a company that's going to come up and, you know, provide that for for that market and the other thing that we should do is uh, we should encourage the younger generation of gamers that collecting video games it's an awesome hobby not only is it fun but you're also preserving a uh, history you're preserving games that are never gonna be released again in that form and i know there's a lot of young people out there that collect physical media as well as retro games so that's really cool if you have kids hey encourage them you know pass on the legacy because it's gonna be sad when all this physical media is completely gone now let me just give a quick tip for those who are gonna start collecting right now you can still find really good deals out there so a quick tip for those people who are gonna start collecting right now don't feel like you're late in the game go out there go to goodwills go to other thrift stores and start looking around and I'm sure you're gonna find some good games at a decent price so the best advice I can give you if you want to start collecting games right now is just to start just start right away start with your favorite game if your favorite console let's say was the original Xbox and you start with those you have a lot of fun with that once you see that collection growing you might say hey you know what I want to start PS2 collections or Super Nintendo collection but start with something that you enjoyed in your childhood because that's gonna get you motivated alright guys so that's the video for today also I want to reach my 1000 subscribers uh, I only have like 40 something right now 47 48 so if you guys can please uh, click like subscribe also hit the notification bell so you guys get notified and I hope you guys find some awesome games some awesome pickups I hope you guys find some awesome gems and uh, you know just uh, keep on gaming all right all right guys take care